Hey YouTubers, welcome to a new series on my channel called Bayonets of the World. Since I was doing helmets, I figured I also have a ton of bayonets. I uh, didn't realize that until we did one of our live streams and somebody said, wow, you have a decent collection of them. So, kind of just go through them. It'll be like the same format as the helmet videos, just a quick five minute spiel on what the bayonet is, the country, when it was used, etc, etc. Um, so today we've obviously got the um, German Seitengewehr 84 slash 98, better known as the World War II K98 bayonet. So this thing is pretty cool. Um, it's a short bayonet. I mean, it's really short. It kind of takes on like the the old German bayonets that were shorter. It kind of takes on that style instead of the long like S98 and um, 88 or 9805 bayonets. They were really long and big and bulky. This one kind of makes it more compact. Um, and versatile as far as being used as a knife, you know, and a bayonet. So, you know, you've got the scabbard, which is typical steel Mauser style with the little ball on the end right there. Um, you got the little, don't know what this piece is called, uh, I'll figure it out, piece that hooks onto the frog. Um, notice there's a number on there, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, yeah, this blade's got tons of, uh, tons of grease on it from the scabbard but not a big deal and this one is marked um, with the manufacturer JSCH not quite sure what that is maybe somebody will know in the comments um, anyway so these had a blued finish originally versus like the raw Gewehr 98 style or the um, 9805 style bayonet so this would have been blued originally of course you see a lot of them the bluing is worn off on and uh, let me grab a uh, paper towel quick and wipe this puppy off so I don't get too much cosmoline on the backdrop here. Okay, so yeah, where was I? Um, huh, totally forgot. So, anyways, you get the little release here, the button release, and you know you push that, and then it allows that little detent to pop out and release from the lug. Um, Okay, so the reason this one's actually got a serial number on the handguard itself, or what is, you know, would be a handguard if it went out further, and on the scabbard is because this one was actually used, you know, sold to or captured by the Yugoslavia military after World War II, and used on their K-98 rifles, and subsequently these also work on the 2447s and M48 rifles. So this one probably saw extensive service. Um, it's in pretty good shape considering... But, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about, yeah, the bluing. But you guys kind of get that. So, when they first came out with the S8498, uh, they didn't have this Bakelite grip, right? So you can see that this is Bakelite, obviously. It's got the little grain to it, and it's orangish. Um, I'm actually keeping this one for myself, because I'm currently selling these in my shop at the time of this video being made. Probably won't last forever, but I got a decent amount of these, and decided to keep this one out of the entire batch, because it's got... A pretty Bakelite handle. I love Bakelite. But anyway, so that was kind of like a mid to late war thing. Um, they initially started out with wood handles like this. And this one's been thrown through the ringer, and this is more of an example of what I was just talking about where the bluing's worn off of both the scabbard and the bayonet. Um, that scabbard is marked um, Durkop. And uh, 1938 it looks like. And it's got the serial number on there. But again, this was also sent or captured by the Yugoslavians. And this one actually matches this little number, so they numbered it to um, match itself, or match the scabbard, which is kind of interesting. Um, probably, let's see if it's got the original uh, marking on there. Yeah, F, or, yeah, it looks like Horster made this one, or Horster. It's really worn off, so, yeah, this obviously didn't, didn't match this bayonet originally, and the Yugoslavians kind of force matched it. But anyways, that's kind of what went down as far as the starting the style with the wood grips that are very traditional and then kind of finishing up with this cheaper more affordable and more durable Bakelite material on the handles. Um, for a length on the blade itself it measures in at about 10 inches you can see that to the handguard. Overall length is about 15 inches if you can see that and uh, so it's a pretty short bayonet considering most bayonet blades back in the day were 15 or more inches by themselves plus the handle. So 
yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty cool design. It can also be used as a fighting knife because it's a lot shorter, whereas, you know, a longer bayonet's a lot more cumbersome and really not practical for fighting knife use. So we'll kind of wrap this video up. Um, hope that answered a few questions. Kind of, I mean, everybody's seen these before, but uh, I really like them and just got a batch of these in and decided to pick this bad boy up um, for the collection because I don't have an example that was actually captured or sent to Yugoslavia after World War II. So, if you're new to the channel, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be really, really appreciated. Um, the reason I make videos is because people like you watch these, and we share the same interests, and everybody likes the same sort of stuff on my channel. Um, so if you uh, give this a thumbs up and then subscribe, I promise you won't be disappointed. Check out my other videos. Uh, and also, if you consider supporting me on Patreon, the link to that is in the description of this video. And that allows me to buy cool stuff like this to do reviews on and kind of show you how they work. And if you saw the video of us stabbing a bunch of stuff with bayonets, you saw that we actually put these to use sometimes. And yeah, so if not, that's totally fine. But I appreciate you guys watching. For all my viewers, you know, past and present, you guys rock. You're awesome. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.